let's begin with a prayer. Lord, we come before you. You are the one that upholds us. You know how we are made. You know all of our needs, all unique and different. And uh, you meet us where we need you. We put our trust in you, and we ask you that you strengthen us as we seek after you. Fill us as we fast, Lord God. Fill us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, here we go. Um, today, our focus of prayer is for our family. You know, that's our marriage and children. If you have grandchildren, grandchildren, for some of you, maybe if you're extended families, but our focus is on our family. And I am reading from Second Kings 4, 8 to 13, 37. It's a long passage, but it's one story. So one day, Elisha was passing through Shunem, where a wealthy woman lived, who urged him to have a meal. So whenever he passed that way, he would stop there for a meal. She said to her husband, Look, I am sure that this man who regularly passes our way is a holy man of God. Let us make a small roof chamber with walls and put there for, for him a, a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp, so that he can stay there whenever he comes to us. One day, when he came there, he went up to the chamber and lay down there. He said to his servant Gehazi, Call the Shunammite woman. When he had called her, she stood before him. He said to him, Say to her, since you have taken all this trouble for us, what may be done for you? Would you have a word spoken on your behalf to the king or to the commander of the army? She answered, I live among my own people. He said, what then may be done for her? Gehazi answered, well, she has no son and her husband is old. He said, call her. When he had called her, she stood at the door. He said, oh, at this season in due time, you shall embrace a son. She replied, no, my lord. O oh, man of God, do not deceive your servant. The woman conceived and bore a son at that season in due time, as Elisha had declared to her. When the child was older, he went out one day to his father among the reapers. He complained to his father, Oh, my head, my head. The father said to his servant, Carry him to his mother. Like a good father, dump the problem to the mother. <laughs> anyway, verse 20. He carried him and brought him to his mother. The child sat on her lap until noon, and he died. She went up and... Hold a second. To... All right. She went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God, closed the door on him, and left. Then she called to her husband and said, Send me one of the servants and one of the donkeys, so that I may quickly go to the man of God and come back again. He said, Why go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. 